Hi, welcome to the channel and today I'm going to be showing you how you can create this daily journal page in Word. So I'm just going to hit my return key twice. That will enable us a little bit of space at the top. And then I'm going to go to insert table, click on the drop down. I'm going to insert five columns and five rows. So to customize this table, I find doing all of this in a table is much, much easier. It lines everything up and it means I can control these border lines. I'm going to select the table, go to table layout, go to height and just enter 0.8, press enter. Then whilst this is all selected, go to this area here. I'm going to select align to center for the time being. It will change for some of the other rows, but we'll come to that in a bit. And on the top row here, I'm just going to select them all, go to table layout and select merge cells and just insert my first title. Now we've done that, I'm just going to select the whole table again, go to the home tab and I'm actually going to select the font I want to use for the entire table. And for that one, I'm going to select this font here and then I'm just going to select the font increase the font size using this icon here to about there. Then this row here, I'm actually going to use as a spacer row so that my next section isn't directly next to this title. So then I'm going to go to table layout and just merge the cells. And then in order, we've got an equal gap between the little boxes. I'm going to select this row here. And then the width, I'm just going to select one and press enter. I'm going to select this row here. And this one's going to be 4.6 and press enter. This column here, again up here will be 4.6. This one here will be one centimeter. And this one here will be 4.6 again. And you can see that now lines up. So now we're going to select this column here, go to merge cells, this column here, and select merge cells. Then we're just going to go to the bottom cell, make sure you're on table layout and click insert below. And we're just going to keep clicking that until we insert some more rows. So for the small boxes in the middle, I'm going to choose five lines. So I need to merge this with another two rows. So merge those cells and merge those as well. So in the top here of these boxes, I'm just going to put some text in. Now you may be slightly confused by all of this because it doesn't look quite right, but what I'm actually going to do is select the table, go to table design, and over here we've got all of our border lines. If I click on the drop down, I'm going to first select view grid lines. Viewing the grid lines will mean that we can see border lines when they're not actually there. Click on the drop down again, and we're going to select no borders. So now we can see our table, but none of the border lines actually exist and we can go back in and actually reselect those border lines. So for example, if I want four of these lines here, if I select that column, just the cells where I want the lines, go up to table design and go across to borders, click on the drop down. So we want the very top border, you can see that's gone in, the very bottom border, and then also the inside borders. And then do the same for this one here, you can see how our table is beginning to look and how it's starting to take shape. So let's just put those border lines back on or those grid lines back on. Then we can go ahead and sort the next section. So this row here, I'm going to leave because that's going to be a spacer row. This row here, table layout, merge cells, and then I'm going to enter in some more text. Then I'm just going to select this align to left icon and then once again, we need to go up to insert below and just insert a number of rows. So then this row, I want to merge, table layout, merge cells, this one as well, and then also this one. Now you don't have to have the lines if you don't want to, to write on. You could just select all of those cells and merge them all together and make this one space, but I quite like having the lines. I'm also just going to merge this one here as well. And then in this one, we can put number one, and then number two, then number three. Select all of those cells and align to the left. 
and then whilst they're selected go to table design go to middle borders and then we're going to need a bottom border as well and we'll put in that top border above okay so now I'm going to merge these two cells go to table layout merge cells so for these cells here I want a completely different layout so I'm going to merge that cell there merge cells I'm actually going to get rid of these three rows select them right click delete cells click OK then I'm going to select this cell split cells and I'm actually going to split this into three columns and click OK and then in this center column here I'm just going to move this one over roughly to the middle and then just do the same with this one just so we've got a nice little spacer in the middle there and then I'm going to click do a couple of rows below then I'm just going to select five rows table layout merge cells five rows table layout merge cells and in this one I'm going to put some text but I'm going to put it at the top left up here same with this table top left don't forget you can put anything in these boxes it doesn't have to be goals for the day it can be completely customized for your own needs Then I want to put a box around just this element here and this element here so I'm going to select the box go to table design go to borders and select outside borders same with this one outside borders then again at the bottom table layout click for a few more cells you can see now that's copied the lines which is absolutely fine now you can see it's copied all of the lines above that's absolutely fine because all we're going to do for this one is we're going to use a spacer cell so we're going to select these two rows and merge them and then these we're simply going to merge the actual individual row and then in here we're going to select bottom left click there and just enter some more text so let's now go back make sure you're somewhere selected in the table table design borders view grid lines so I'm just going to move the table down a little bit and then in the top here I'm going to go to insert text box click on the drop down select draw text box click and draw out a text box and I'm just going to put in my title select the text go to the home tab change the font to one of your choice I'm going to select Belania increase the font size make sure it's in the center now you can see when I've inserted this text box it's got a black borderline and a white background I'm just going to get rid of both of those so select it go to shape format go to this icon here click on the drop down and select no outline go to shape fill click on the drop down and select no fill and then we can move this anywhere we want to so I'm just going to move the title up a bit with my arrow keys and then I'm just going to put a few graphics in just to make it more aesthetically pleasing so I'm going to go to insert shapes click on the drop down select the square click and drag out a square or a rectangle at the bottom just move it where you want it then I'm going to take off the outline and go to shape fill select a color of your choice I'm going to select this one here if you don't see the color of your choice just go to more fill colors select something from the color wheel and then this one I'm just going to copy and paste it the easiest way to do that is to select it hold down your alt or option key click and drag then I'm just going to reduce the height of that and once again I'm going to just pop it in here I'm going to try and line it up with the edge here and then I want it to go behind the title so go up to the top here and click center back once you're happy you can go ahead and you can save this as a PDF file as a word document or as a template so I hope that's helped you today if it has please like and subscribe and have a great day